Hello, my name is Katie Wardrobe and this is a Music Tech Tips tutorial. Welcome to part 2 of Muse Score in 10 Easy Steps. The Muse Score screen and navigating around your score. Once you've set up your score, you'll see something like this. A white piece of paper showing the instrumental staves you chose and some empty bars waiting for you to input notes. The screen is made up of a toolbar across the top, which contains some familiar buttons such as New, Open, Save and Print. There's a useful What's This button, which allows you to turn tooltips on or off. When you hover over something on the screen, some text will appear, letting you know what that button does. I have some playback controls here, and underneath, a set of rhythmic note values, rests, sharps and flats. Down the left of the screen, there is a series of palettes which contain the musical elements you'll add to your score. If you can't see these palettes, go to Display, Palette to make them appear. My score is a little bit like a piece of paper and I can move it around by clicking and dragging on a white area. To see my score in more detail, I can use the zooming options in the drop down menu here, or I can click on the zoom tool and then click on my score to make it bigger. There is also a navigator window on the bottom left of my screen which allows me to see which part of my score I am viewing, and I can drag the blue rectangle around to view other parts of my score. This ends the second tutorial video in a series titled Muse Score in 10 Easy Steps. If you'd like to be notified about future tutorial videos, subscribe for free to the Music Tech Tips blog at www.musictechtips.wordpress.com.